To me, the bitter irony of all this is that the protests in Kenosha happened because these activists rushed to judgment in the police involved shooting of Jacob Blake, in which the police have been totally exonerated. Jacob Blake was the aggressor. Mm -hmm. Jacob Blake resisted arrest. Jacob Blake pulled a knife on the cops. And that's why Jacob Blake got shot. He lived. But that is why he got shot. And so the protesters who decided to burn gas stations and other buildings that night were protesting the justified shooting of a man who pulled a knife on cops. Now, Kyle Rittenhouse goes out there and now he's on trial. The media totally misrepresents that case. And now Mm -hmm. we may see rioting if he is exonerated, as I believe he should be, as the evidence suggests he ought to be. I mean, how disgusting is this? And the judge is facing death threats and his kids are facing death threats and the jury's facing threats. I mean, do people see how insane this is, how how the the downward spiral out of actual justice is occurring every step of the way? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Megan, to, to say that, like, I, you know, the feeling of frustration and aggravation, I mean, it doesn't even begin to convey um, you know, what, what I actually feel because yeah, I, I've been, I, I was here, you know, I saw it and I experienced, um, uh, you know, much of what happened here in Kenosha. Um, and it's just a sad reality that, you know, cause you know, Kenosha is not a super wealthy town. You know, these are just everyday, uh, average Americans and they had to deal with the wrath of rioters because uh, yeah, as you mentioned, they, they jumped to conclusions because admittedly, yeah, when I first saw the video, I, I was like, okay, that looks pretty bad, but it also didn't make sense. Like what, like what, what got it to that point? And then, yeah, the, the Kenosha district attorney looked into it, the DOJ looked into it, and they said, well, actually, the, the officer was shot in self-defense. And so, and, and so we, we, we have all of these cases where, you know, the media, it, even with the trial, even as the trial is ongoing, when it's in broad daylight and there's multiple cameras showing everything, they, they've misrepresented uh, some of parts of this trial. I mean, Gage Grosskreutz completely agreed with defense whole claim to self-defense. Uh, when they were cross-examining him. Instead, the media led off with by saying, oh, yeah, well, he thought he was an active shooter. And maybe they included, a, included uh, you know, five, six, seven graphs down in the story, right? But people's main takeaway was like, oh, yeah, you know, he was in the right because he was trying to stop an active shooter. That's what was going through his mind. Um, but no, it, it, it's, it's very disgusting that this is the environment that, that, we're, that we're working in. And, and a large part of the mainstream media has, has made things worse. And you know, if, you know, if Rittenhouse is acquitted and if there's unrest that follows, um, that's going to be on them as well, because they mm-hmm. have helped fan the flames. They, and it's just it, it shouldn't have to come down to a, a handful of street reporters such as myself to try to accurately portray what what's going on in these chaotic situations. But unfortunately, that that's the reality that, and, that, that we're living in. And no one's even claiming, Jose, that the, that uh, no one's claiming that. Um... Julio, sorry, forgive me, that the uh, the video is is inaccurate, right? No one's claiming that it's fake, it's doctored, right? No, no, and, and, and it's not. I mean, again, um, we're, we're, we're not out there to try to paint some sort of narrative. We're, we just record the videos. And, and there's also other, I mean, there's also like a local live streamer who, who testified that the prosecution brought up that also destroyed the prosecution's case. Um, and so that, you know, that that's from a, you know, quote unquote, non-conservative source that further strengthened Rittenhouse's claim to self-defense. Mm-hmm. So, no, I mean, in the video, I, I mean, I can speak for myself. My video is not doctored. It's not taken out of context. And uh, it's just it, it is what it is. And again, that's why I, I always tell people just look at the videos from that night. And there's multiple videos, right? It's not just me. It's not just two videos. It's multiple videos. Well, so now let me ask you this, because there's the National Guards are apparently ready for this verdict and, and they predict it's going to happen pretty quickly. Who knows? Juries do what they're going to do here. They've already received the instructions that's happening today. Then they do the closing arguments that's supposed to take only about 90 minutes per lawyer. We'll see. And then they're going to retire and start their deliberations. Um, The governor says um, the National Guard's ready and that he's authorized 500 Wisconsin National Guard troops to support Kenosha authorities. The sheriff has said we've not yet officially requested the National Guard, but they may. And you tell me, because the the governor made an interesting statement. He said, quote, we continue to be in close contact with our partners at the local level to ensure the state provides support and resources to help keep the Kenosha community and greater area safe. We continue. (laughs) My my feeling in reading this, then he goes on to say Kenosha community has been strong, resilient, has come together through the incredible difficult times these past two years. The healing is still ongoing. Um, 
I don't know if you, maybe you're in close contact. Maybe that's a continuation of something. But the continuation of providing support and resources to keep Kenosha community safe, isn't that how this whole mess started? The failure by authorities to keep the peace? I'm not condoning what Kyle Rittenhouse did. I've said publicly, I'm, you know, I realize there's a strong camp on the right saying he had every right to be there with his gun. and all. I don't see it that way. I'm like a mom, and I don't think a 17-year-old belongs with an AR-15 in these protests trying to keep the peace. The police should have done their job. The governor should have done his job. And when they don't, bad things happen if, if private citizens try to step in. And this case is a pretty good example of that. However, for him to now say, don't worry, you know, we've come together, we've been keeping the peace. No, you haven't. You have not. You, you failed in your job. That's really what led to this whole mess. No, a- absolutely. And, and that's what I always say when, when I and talk about who's really at fault here. And it's the fault of the state and local officials. I mean, uh, after the first night of rioting, only 125 National Guardsmen were, were activated. Now, the, the governor has defended by saying, well, that's really the only quick reaction force that we had at the time. So that's why it was so, so low. But but remember, we, we were in month three of riots happening. I mean, this wasn't the first riot that happened in 2020. This was after multiple weeks of unrest throughout the country, pretty destructive. And many, you know, Minneapolis is not that far from Wisconsin. Right. I mean, so they, they should have had a much better plan in place in case, hey, maybe, you know, Wisconsin, a city in Wisconsin could be the next uh, town where there's massive riots. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so. They, you know, thankfully, I guess, you know, they've learned from from that mistake. But, yeah, ultimately, it, it, it this whole situation um, is, is is the fault of the state and local authorities, because then, yeah, you're right. When there's a power vacuum, uh, bad things happen. And, and I can talk to, you know, that happened at the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone uh, in Seattle as well on a much mm. you know lesser lesser example. That, But there was no cops around. And so what happened? People were stealing from each other. People there was fights all over. Um, but yeah, when, when there's when there's no law and order, bad things can happen. 